Hi, I'm Dan with Intermatic's technical support team. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to program the ST01C timer for an astronomic schedule. All right, so we're going to get started with the programming. We'll need to open the door to expose the buttons on the timer. The first thing we're going to need to do is reset the timer to clear any stored information. To do so, we need to press and hold the on-off button. While holding the on-off button, we'll use a paper clip to press and hold the reset button for three seconds. Release the reset button and continue to hold the on-off an additional three seconds. Now that the timer memory is clear, we can start programming it. We will press the mode button until we see setup displayed. Then we'll press the on-off button to enter the setup menu. You'll notice that the hour is flashing. We'll use the plus or minus keys to set our current hour. Also, make sure that you pay attention to AM and PM so you can select the proper half of the day. Once you have your current hour selected, press the on-off button and the minutes will flash. Again, use the plus or minus keys to select your current minutes. Once you have your minutes selected, Press the on-off button, that'll move you to the year portion. We'll use the plus key to set it to our current year. Press the on-off button once your year is set, and now we'll program in the month. Once you have your month selected, press the on-off button, that'll move you to the date. Use the plus or minus key to select your current date. Also, if you hold the button, the timer will scroll. Once you have the date selected, press the on-off button, and the timer will display the current day. In this case, it's Thursday. If you notice that it is not displaying the current day, you may have set the date or the year wrong, and you'll want to repeat these steps. So now that Thursday is displayed, and that's our current day, we'll press the on-off button. That'll move us to... Auto DST. Now, most of the country uses daylight savings time, so I'm going to use auto. However, certain parts do not, so you can use the plus or minus key to select man for manual DST or auto. Press the on off button once you have your selection, that'll move you to the zone. You'll want to refer to the map in the programming instructions so you can select whether you're in the north, center, or south zone. Press the on off button to enter your zone and it will display a dawn time. This is the time that the timer will turn off if you choose to use the astro settings. If the dawn time is not correct for your area, you can adjust the hour with the plus or minus key. Once you have the hour set, you can press the on off button and the minutes will flash. Now that the minutes are flashing, we can use the plus or minus key to set it to your current dawn time. Once you have the minutes selected, press the on-off button, and that'll move you to your dusk setting. Again, you can use the plus or minus key to adjust the hour to your local dusk hour. Press the on-off button once your hour is set, and that'll move you to the minutes. Again, you can use the plus or minus key to adjust the minutes. Once your minutes are set, you'll press the on-off button. That will save the information and take you back to the beginning of the setup screen. Now that we're done with the setup menu, we will press the mode button to display PGM so we can access the programming of the timer. To enter the programming menu, you'll press the on off button and you'll notice a zero one is flashing. We're going to press the on off button again and the timer is flashing on in the screen. That tells us that we're programming an on event. Press the on off button again and you'll notice that dusk is flashing, telling us that the timer is going to turn on at dusk. We'll press the on off button again and all will flash for all the days of the week. Press the on off button one last time, it'll say save and then the zero one will flash. We're going to press the plus key to go to event 02 to program our off event. So now we have 02 flashing. We'll press the on off button and off will flash, telling us that we're programming an off setting. Press the on off button again and dawn flashes, telling us it's turning off at dawn. Press the on off button and all flashes. 
press the on-off button one last time, it'll say save, and then the O2 flashes. Now the last step is to press the mode button to put you back in the auto mode with your local time. Once you see auto in your local time, the programming is complete and you can close the door for the timer. Please note, when you close the door for the timer, you may press it in and turn your lights on. So you may need to press the door once more to turn your lights back off. And that concludes the programming for an Intermatic ST01C timer in an astronomic setting. For additional information about our products, please visit us online at www.intermatic.com.